All right, welcome back to another video, everyone. I have got an absolutely amazing location for you here today. This place is just unbelievable. I'm just blown away by it. The decor in here is incredible. This, this was a custom built house, definitely uh, mid 1900s anyway. And it's a ranch style home in a very prestigious neighborhood. So this place has barely been touched since it was built then. And this place is absolutely huge. And I'm gonna call it a mansion because it's just, it's that big, even though it's a bungalow. And yeah, there really isn't much more to say to, about this place at this point. So let's check out this static space. Look at that. Oh wow, look at that really old hockey card. Oh my God. What? Oh, look at that view. Oh wow. Look at this. Oh boy. That is absolutely incredible. Look at this thing. Oh my gosh, it's a chair. Yeah, so like I mentioned in the intro, this place is absolutely incredible. It was probably built in the mid 1900s, probably like maybe late 50s, 60s, something like that. This wallpaper is crazy. It's almost like sandpaper wallpaper. I'm pretty sure this is sand with sparkles in it. Never seen anything like that before. It's crazy stuff. Built in 1962, this absolutely incredible mid-century mansion had only one owner and almost nothing has changed in the home since then. Sitting on a huge four acre lot with a swimming pool, the house was sold in 2020 for $12 million. Unfortunately, given the area where it is located, the home will almost certainly be demolished in the near future to make way for a much larger mansion. Like look at this entryway here. That is just incredible. Light fixture, never seen anything quite like that before. And the staircase, that's amazing. Wow. We'll come back to this though. All right, let's head this way. We'll go to the kitchen first. The owner of this home, let's call him Jeff, was born in 1933. He paid for his university education from being a reservist in the Royal Canadian Air Force. Jeff began his career as a prospector in Northern Ontario and Quebec almost 60 years ago and has staked many claims during that time. Over his decades long career, he had developed mines all over the world, mostly copper, nickel, and gold. Like, look at this. This kitchen is so retro. Just incredible. Nothing in the fridge. Got a bag of milk there. Depending on where you're watching this from, you may not recognize milk in a bag, but yeah, that is definitely milk. Was that a stink bug or something? Crazy. I love this kitchen though. Even this, no, this stove is pretty modern. It's just gas. 
But this thing is incredible. Wow, I've never seen an oven like this before. It's unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Oh, wow. Look at that. I've never seen anything like that before in my life. And look at how thick those coils are too. That is crazy. That's just storage. Wow. I don't know. That is nuts. Absolutely crazy. One such mine was sold in 1994, which provided him with a perpetual royalty payment that was as much as $7 million per year. A very savvy businessman, and he also liked to invest his profits in the stock market, where he both lost and made millions. Wow. Look at the colors on those cupboards. Absolutely amazing. This place just blows me away and it just gets better and better too as we go. And the dust on here is unbelievable. Jeff was also very generous, having donated an eight-figure sum to various charities over the years. One interesting thing to note is that he also had a favorite restaurant where he went every day for 30 years. Got a vacuum cleaner, but looks as though they haven't been using it. And some flocked wallpaper. Oh, it does work. It's quite the chandelier. This is this must have been the dining room. Oh, you can see how the wallpapers worn over the years. That's incredible. That photo or the picture was hanging there for a very long time. Jeff passed away in 2015 at the age of 81, and his wife of 53 years passed away in 2020 at the age of 87. More flocked wallpaper. Oh, and this is material. Wow. It's only the second time I've ever seen that. Wow, it's quite incredible. <laughs> Unbelievable. Then you go to this room and it's like so plain by comparison. So many rooms in this house. And I definitely call this one a mansion, even though it's a bungalow. What is this? Is this like, it almost looks like stuff from the carpet. It was probably here, but really nice wood floors, really old worn curtains. To the other side of the first floor here. It's that wallpaper again. Sandpaper. <laughs> it's not even wallpaper, it's sandpaper. What is this? Almost feels like corkboard or something. Do we have a light in here? Yeah, not a lot of light, but. I 
don't know, maybe it's just paper. Hard to tell. Definitely has a texture to it. Look at the icicles. That's crazy. Yeah, this is that grass paper type of stuff. Oh, don't want to forget this room. Oh, we got a bit of stuff left over here. Oh wow, look at that really old hockey card. See what year this is. Nineteen sixty. Wow. That is incredible. Who is it? Ron Ellis. Crazy. Yeah, we got a few things left here. Look at this wallpaper. Every room has really interesting wallpaper. And this one even has wallpaper on the ceiling. Wow. Unbelievable. Just crazy. So this house is mostly empty except for a few pieces of artwork, right? Which is Bit surprising. It has an outdoor pool, which is completely buried in snow right now. Let's see, ensuite bathroom. More artwork. Some shiny wallpaper here, that is amazing. Look at that, unbelievable. Check out this lamp. Yeah, this place has a lot of, oh yeah, you can see the water leaking in through the roof right there. That's crazy. This place is in such rough shape. And I don't even think it's been abandoned all that long either. Which is what's so surprising. Here's a more modern light fixture. But I mean, this place is basically untouched in terms of decor. There's only a few minor renovations done over the years. Not even renovations, just like little jobs here and there. wallpaper. Uh, let's see if we got lights in here because it's pretty dark. Nope. Nope. But yeah, this is another staircase here. Let's 
So this goes down to the basement. We'll go down there in a few minutes. Look at that. Amazing. Lots of bedrooms and lots of bathrooms in here. Interesting uh, handles there. Because the original ones broke and that was their solution to fix them. Oh, that's that bathroom again, shared bathroom. Yeah, obviously the ceiling was collapsing here too. Huh. Crazy stuff. Oh, wow. Every one of these rooms is so interesting to me. Just incredible. This wallpaper is just unbelievable. Oh my gosh. And this place is just huge too. Absolutely massive. For just a small ranch house, right? Well, I shouldn't say small ranch house because it's not small. Here we've got the walk-in closet. Not overly massive, but what is this? Oh, wiper blades. Those are ancient. From what, like the 80s or 90s maybe? Huh, wow. Crazy stuff. So this must have been the master bedroom. Wow. More cupboard space. This is interesting. I'm not exactly sure what it's for, but. Oh, maybe it had a back to it on this side. Or wait, maybe it's for the TV. Yeah, that's probably what it was. Likely for the TV. And the bed would have been over here somewhere. Maybe. Yeah, check out that one. What is this thing? No idea what that is. I'm gonna leave it alone. Don't know what that is. Intercom, I guess, maybe. Crazy stuff. This place is amazing. All right, let's go check out that upper floor quickly. So I totally forgot about that. chandelier again. Unbelievable.
All right, let's head upstairs. Check out these couple of rooms up here. And we'll do the basement. Basement's even better. Oh my gosh, look at this. Molding here. And look at this ceiling as well. That is cool. Wow. Oh my God. What? That is just crazy. Absolutely unbelievable. Look at that. What? Oh my gosh, is it even on the ceiling? Oh, this room is crazy. This looks like a fairly new mattress. Strange. Wow, that's rough. Oh my gosh, this room. Unbelievable. <laughs> huh. Travel pillows. There's definitely some signs of, of a squatter or something in here though. Certainly looks like it anyway. Oh, this room is relatively plain as well, compared to everything else. <laughs> Crazy. National Geographic. I don't think. Love those Saskatchewan parks. Huh. Oh, wow. Lots of storage space. Jeez, what is this? Some sort of ventilation system. All right, let's head down into the basement. Look at that. Wonderful spiral staircase. Absolutely incredible. Oh, <laughs> jeez. We've got, uh, I don't know, some sort of a a knit wall hang here. Not sure what the deal is with this thing. Oh, these are Velcroed on. Some sort of a recording system, I guess. Oh, look at that view. Amazing. Wow. All right, let's head down this way. Oh, geez, look at this wallpaper. That is quite the texture. Yeah, I can imagine running through here as a kid and accidentally brushing your arm up against it. That would hurt, for sure. This place is just insane, though. in here. I don't think I've been in here yet. Oh, this is just surrounding the staircase. This looks like it was like an art room or I don't know. They did some something in here. Making stuff.
Yeah, it looks like it was a workshop, I guess. Newspaper from 1997. Look at the, there's obviously been a lot of water leaking up against the foundation here because that's in rough shape. Yeah, it's really rough. Wow. Oh, that's pretty worn away. Look at this wallpaper. Is that 90s? 80s maybe? That's cool. Yeah, definitely a lot of uh, foundation damage as well. Oh, we've got this. What is this? A, I don't know, some sort of a wall hang. I was gonna say silk wall hang, but it's not really. at this wallpaper. <laughs> this is unbelievable. What? Absolutely crazy. Oh my gosh. We got the sauna here. Probably still works too. This is a big sauna. You'd have, I don't know, a dozen people in here, 10 people for sure, maybe more. It's crazy. Two showers. Huh. And the change rooms. Wow. This place is just unbelievable. Oh, what's this? More artwork. Wow. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I love decor like this. Oh, this place still just keeps going and going and going. Oh. Wow. Yeah, this is rough. This, this bathroom I've seen a lot of decay. Quite surprising. Oh wow, another kitchen. A little kitchenette, closed off. With the covered doors. Yeah, look at that. That really old stove. And it's a small one too, right? It's not like a full size one. It's like an apartment size one. Yeah, this place is just unbelievable. Boarded up window. And cinder blocked doorway. That's really strange. Wonder why they did that. That is so weird. So weird. better and better and better. Oh wow. Look at this. Holy crap. Horseshoes need to turn into an ass. 
This window though is just unbelievable. It's so amazing. Oh, no lights in here that are working. Oh, they would have been up there, okay. So it would have let up this, this nice glass here. I love this room. This is amazing, look at this wood. Was that like copper or brass? Tiles or something? This countertop's really interesting too. Wow, this is a really cool room. Unbelievable. Oh, check it out. Got another spiral staircase here. Wow. Unbelievable. More artwork. Looks Aztec, maybe. Or Mayan. Wow. Unbelievable. Oh, look at this. That's pretty ugly. So I'm guessing the, the previous owners liked to travel. Huh. Wow. All sorts of artwork left here. And here's the fireplace. Wow, that is big kind of looks as though yeah see this is another sign of the you know that someone was possibly squatting here so they're probably using the fireplace or whatever but look at the detail on this wood that is absolutely incredible Wow, look at this. Some sort of an African statue, wooden statue. Huh. Wow. More artwork. It's pretty ugly though, to be honest. Uh. sorts of stuff in here. Here's a look at the outside, a little peek for you. It's absolutely incredible. Amazing. All right, so this is the final room and this is the best room. Well, my favorite room anyway. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That's insane. Unbelievable. Look at this furniture. And it's built in too. That is crazy. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, it's built in. Oh my gosh. What is even going on? Look at this place. I just can't get over it. It's so incredible. We got the brick here. Pretty shoddy job on the... I don't know. Maybe that's style they were going for but 
Can't say I really like it. Just looks like poorly done. And we got the fireplace here. But yeah, this is quite quite the scene, quite the fireplace. Unbelievable. Oh yeah, I got some cobwebs up here too. Oh boy. This is just one of those rooms. Look at this thing. Oh my gosh, it's a chair. Wow. That is a chair. Crazy stuff. These are cupboards behind it, I guess. Maybe? No, it's just like a wall, I guess. Huh. <laughs> this is definitely my favorite room. So incredible. Absolutely amazing. Oh, this is a bedroom here. Yeah, it definitely looks like there's a bed here. Wow. So colorful. Oh, I'm just amazed at this place. All right, so here we've got, I don't know if there's, the lights are working in here. Oh yeah, sort of. Um, oh, what is this? I don't know what that animal is. Maybe, I don't know. No idea. Let me know down in the comments if you know what this is. Because I don't know. But yeah, basically it's a scarf. Or a, I don't know, not really a scarf, but you know. An accessory that goes around your neck for sure. So it's like the wine cellar, I guess. Yeah, here's the, this would have been the wine cabinet. Oh wow, and this fermenting barrel. Sorry guys, this is gonna be a really long video. What is that? Looks like it's been concreted up as well. Nothing much in this room, really. Oh, but wow, look at this. <laughs> this wallpaper. Oh my gosh. Absolutely incredible. Yeah, here's the furnace room. Nothing much to see in there. But yeah, this wallpaper is just unbelievable. Laundry room. I'm not sure what this is. It almost kind of looks like a clothesline, I guess. Very strange though, and you couldn't really hang much on it.
All right, thanks a lot for watching everyone. Really hope you enjoyed this video. Absolutely amazing place here. I mean, I love the decor and you know, you just, you don't see locations like this very often. So that's why this one is so special, but just probably one of my favorite locations ever of all time in terms of houses. Yeah, this is just absolutely amazing. So like I said, this was custom built in the mid 1900s and it doesn't look like anything's changed at all. And that's, I mean, that's incredible, right? That's what, 50, 60, 70 years ago, right? So, well, 50, 60 anyway. And that's just unbelievable. There are just a few minor alterations, but other than that, it's, it's just looks exactly the same as it did when it was built. And that's incredible. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this one as much as I did. Don't forget to give this video a like. If you enjoyed it, throw a comment down below. If you have anything to say, share it. If you think anybody else wants to see it. And as always, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of this type of content. And as always, I'll see you at the next Static Space. All right, welcome back to another video, everyone. Ah. All right, welcome back to another video, everyone. Absolutely, oh, what am I doing?